decided to spend the rest of my life with a pen and a notepad and asking people to share their concept of compassion. The decision to come to Davis was based on I was running out of money and I wanted to live with other people. I decided to do this and uh, I relinquished a lot of stuff. I gave a lot, gave a lot of my stuff away. Clothes, uh, possessions, car, uh, desks, uh, TV, gave, gave my TV to my sister. So I, I stopped watching movies, I stopped watching television, stopped playing poker, stopped playing video games, online video games. Uh, and decided to um, spend uh, a, a significant amount of time and energy directed towards a um, selflessness. And um, through that came the uh, decision, the vow, and that I would do this uh, for the rest of my life, and that was June 3rd, 2009. <laughs> My name's David Bro. Uh, originally, I'm from uh, uh, Duarte, California, which is 10 minutes east of Pasadena. Uh, I went to the university at Stanford, Stanford University. Uh, the role that has been created, I'm the compassion guy on the corner of C and 3rd. <laughs> uh, I knew one person coming here May last year and now I think I, I tallied it one day. I waved to 103 people <laughs> so a few months ago. I think his role in the community is really important. Him being on that corner and I notice how many people stop and talk to him just for a minute. How many people go by that he waves to and acknowledges my name is Joy and I work at the Davis Farmer's Market in the information booth. I work kitty corner to the corner where he stands. Market after market after market. I mean, I've watched hundreds of people interact with him. And I think it's so meaningful to have someone on a corner that you can just talk to if you want to, or that's gonna to wave to you and smile. And I think I would safely say at the same time that there is that there is that role that's being played uh, in Davis, which was unexpected. People view view me on the corner, and when they pass by, they think about compassion. Which, and it's wow, it's just they're passing by, and it's what they know is happening there, and so they think about it, which is a continuation of an expansion of just asking the question. Uh, the, the goal is to increase the awareness of compassion and the goal is to continue to ask people. And the goal, the means, and the end are kind of one and the same. There's exceptions, the hot, about anything over 100, I'm not going. <laughs> if it's raining, I, oh, I can't go out there because it's paper. Uh, hurt my back, and there's little things, but consistently. As of late, there's less time out there because I'm working on the book. The book uh, is an offshoot of the main kind of trunk of the tree. It's a branch. The value in recording it is that other people can see. I calculated per page approximately. There's about 3,500. 
uh, books, movies are all inspiring. So if you see people in general, there's a, there, you, there's a, they're inspired. And I can sit on this bench for however long and feel inspired to do something. The actual action that I'm doing is sitting on the bench. <laughs> I did. I turned all that into doing. How's it going, David? Peaceful. Peaceful. How how do you how are you so patient? How do you stand here all day? Uh, like to <laughs> with feet and hands and legs, stand. I will continue doing this until <laughs> this can no longer continue. This. May compassion be like a willow tree, a companion whose branches in a gentle breeze reach from above rest upon your shoulders. Compassion is a form of loving without any expectation of an exchange. It is the mothering principle. It is one-pointed care for another's well-being. It has no needs. Compassion flows without mind chatter. It is the highest expression of humanity. Compassion is listening with an open mind, open heart, and open spirit respecting others for who they are and recognizing the power in differences, reaching out to anyone regardless of preconceived notions. Compassion is the ability to love without exchange, to care without reason, and share without caring. Compassion is opening your hearts to everything. Compassion is being ever-present with a kind ear. 